and then um, they complement each other. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so, so when when did you finally, you know, so have you, are you still in that phase where you, you, you know, the boarding school phase where you... You want to chill, but you know you know what you're supposed to do, you know. <laughs> We're on live television, on set. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no. Okay. But let me let me be candid with you, and I, I promise. What I have had, I, I was I was saying to you that I was watching the, the 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 obviously the woman of God that came on here, and people were discussing their conversion. Mm. Um, for me, and I, I said I'll share this with many people. I hope that they they encourage. I've not had. I, I remember the day I walked forward to give my life to Christ. I've, when was that? It was a while ago. It was many <laughs> moons ago. Okay. But I haven't had a convert. I've had many convictions. That is what I've been going through. Mm. I've gone through many convictions. And I've been at that place where I, I go somewhere, I do something. And I wake up the next morning and I'm unfulfilled. Mm. My wife will tell you. I'm like, no, I'm never doing this again. I'm never going here again. Guess what? Friday, I'll go back. Mm. And then I'll come back again. And I'll be like, what is wrong with you? Mm. How are you still going through this rut? Mm. And I'll have convictions mm. in my spirit that I know, mm. you know? Mm. And that has been the bad. Some people have their road to Damascus mm. where they have that one conversion and mm. they never look back. Mm. Uh, my, my, mine hasn't been like that. I've had conversions. I've had clear words. Mm. I've had, I'll tell you what. Um, this happened sometime this year. I think even my father, my wife is the only one. I was driving home after um, I had, I think I had a long day, I had a couple of meetings. And I was around Lister Hospital. Mm. So I told you I live in East Legon. And I was playing music and my iTunes switched to um, one of these songs by Maverick Music. Mm. And I began to cry. Mm. I've, it's never happened to me before. On Controllably, mm. uncontrollably, uncontrollably. I you are crying, ma, ma, ma. It was so bad. Mm. It was so bad, and I, I'm saying this because I'm talking about having conviction. Mm. And when you are convicted, I think you have a duty to stay there. And mm. I'll explain. Bear in mind if you know how bad that traffic is mm. through that um, that way all the way to the bridge, mm. and I live around Agape Church, mm. and I cried. I cried through the traffic. Mm. I couldn't stop wailing. Mm. The song, I put the song on repeat and I couldn't, I've never shared this anything. I got home and my wife was like, what is wrong? I couldn't speak. Mm. I was crying. Uncle, she, she told me she thought I'd hit somebody mm. or I'd killed somebody. Mm. I was crying. Mm. I was, my brother, I was crying. Mm. I, you are laugh, I was, I'm <laughs> laughing now. I wasn't laughing then. Mm. I was wailing. Why do you think you're crying now? It is the conviction mm -hmm. moment. You see, and the point about that particular day, nothing, there was, I didn't have, I wasn't from somewhere I shouldn't be. I was just coming back. From work? From work. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of meetings at Aboni, so I was just taking that route. And I began to cry. Mm. Viciously. Mm. I got home, I lay on the floor, and I, I cried so much, I think I woke my daughter. Mm. I was crying. My wife left me, like mm. she came to sit by me. She wanted to talk and I began to share, mm. like I began to talk. Mm. Like, listen, I've never shared this before. Mm. I've never. Um, I don't know what is going on. Am I in the right place at the right time? Mm. There's something mm. more I must be doing. Mm. I haven't had a route to Damascus. Mm. Maybe that was mine. <laughs> but it, it's, it's, I've had mm. very subtle nudges. Mm. And I've had situations like, for the longest time, I actually started avoiding that song because I was <laughs> afraid that if I let that one loose. But I had it. And it was maybe a 40-minute journey through mm. the traffic. Mm. And I was going through it. Mm. I was wailing, wailing. I wonder what the people in traffic were thinking. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I was wailing, wailing, got home, laid on the floor in my living room and continued. Mm. Now, here's the thing. I woke up the next morning. I was convicted mm. that this is it. This is it. Mm. This is it. This is the sign I've been mm. looking for. Mm. This is, hey, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to get it together. Mm. I'm going to put it together. I've been getting it together, but this is, you know, the next step, mm. the deeper, mm. the deeper walk, the mm. deeper calling, deeper revelation. And by close of business, I'd lost focus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, Obviously, that's why my wife was there. She, 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 she doesn't hesitate to remind me. Mm. You know, people like that are blessings mm. in your life. But I, I realized that when you get those convictions, 
you must it's a sign mm. it's a wake up call mm. that you have to make some realignment mm. you need to make some necessary changes mm. and um yeah it, it's <laughs> it's it's been a it's been an interesting road. Uh, it's been a very interesting mm, road. Mm, but yeah. Mm. So so hmm. Charlie, I wish we, we didn't have to end this. Mm. So so precious one, you're watching one on one with the pastor's kid, and I'm here with uh Emmanuel Sa, the son of Bishop James Kwekusa. Very, very interesting discussion. He's opening up, you know, completely. Um, and so please send your comments. Let's know what you think about uh, this discussion. I've seen people have started sending already. Send to 0203438710. 0203438710. So, <clears throat> so, so from uh, from Infantipim, you went you went where? I went to the University of Exeter. Okay. I did um, my bachelor's in law. Okay. At the University of Exeter, um, and then um, I went to the University College London to do my master's in law. So I did my LLM there. Um, and then I went to New York to take the New York bar mm. exam in 2014, I believe, mm. 2014. And then I moved back to Ghana mm. to go to Makola, mm. the Ghana School of Law. So that's been um, New York, England, New York, and Ghana. Mm. To, and that's where I've been. I, w I was in Makola for two years. Mm. And then um, I work in a place called Benti Incho, mm. and Kuma. It's um, a law firm. Mm. Um, I don't think I can make a, a free advertisement <laughs> here. So lawyers are not allowed to advertise, so I'll leave it at that. But um, that's been my journey. I've been back home for about five years, mm, six, six years. Mm. Um, one of the most interesting things was that having been away for maybe six, seven years, where no one knew who you were, no one cared who you were. If you know anything, England is a tough, tough place. Mm. Um, I got very, very comfortable. Mm. Um, no one is, you know, I... I mm -hmm. No one mm -hmm. is... Awesome. So, Imano, sorry to cut you, but mm. uh, we, we have our first caller on the line. We have our first caller on the line. Can we pick up... <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening, my name is Bishop James Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Welcome, Bishop. <laughs> uh, Bishop, how are you doing, sir? Uh, surprise! <laughs> Papa, welcome. Good evening, sir. Your father is watching from the grandstand. Ah, uh, it's a blessing. <laughs> Your first supporter. Uh, it's a big blessing, sir. Uh, it's a big yeah, blessing. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, yes. So we are here giving you fans. We are cheering. Uh, it's a blessing, sir. More oil, more grace, more power. Amen. 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 Bishop, we hope you're doing Amen. well, sir. Good, 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 good. So, uh, so, so, Bishop. Uh, so, just a few, just a few questions before before we 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 leave you, sir. Um, okay. Uh, so, so. Uh, Imano has been sharing his story, you know, the sacrifices that you had to make. He's, he's actually helped us to really understand you uh, a bit better mm -hmm. and to really appreciate, you know, why you are so loved by not only his eminence, but by other people as well. But I, I wanted to find out, um, so how, how was he growing up, you know? <laughs> was, he, was, he a, was he the stubborn kind or, you know, did, did you struggle to, to raise him? <laughs> Oh, I think the biggest, it's a challenge to have a, a single child home mm. uh, because there are no siblings to play with. Mm. And uh, so when he gets up in the morning, he'll be singing in the room. <laughs> and, uh, the only way we get to know he's up is when he starts singing. <laughs> he's shouting for no reason. <laughs> he's shouting. He doesn't know what to do. But every time or so, we are watching who his friends are, mm. keeping an eye on him. Mm. Because it's a dangerous world. Mm. Uh, but I think he's done well uh, watching the company as we also give him counsel. Mm. He's taking the counsel and God has been with him Amen. by and large. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and he, men he mentioned that at a point in your life, you had to make a hard stop. You know, was there any reason for that, you know, where you decided that I'm going to limit my meetings, limit my travels and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah, because uh, there was a time I was traveling and he was following me on the road crying. He wants to go with me where I was going. Mm. 
and I went through other flights mm. from Accra to London. It was difficult. So it made me do a certain alteration mm. and then reduced my itinerary mm. so that I could have time. And we decided that if I wasn't going to London to get put in, uh, the mummy would go. Mm. And we used to visit him very often. And all those things helped mm. to keep in touch. Mm. Uh, because leaving your child in the diaspora mm. uh, can be a very tight tissue if you don't mm. put a proper monetary system in place. Mm. But he was in the company of a lot of Ghanaian uh, brothers and sisters. And most who he, he had a church mm. that was very strong, spirit filled, and also that helped him mm. in his uh, undergraduate and graduate program. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much. And, and, and you, you know, what's your fondest memory of, uh, of Emmanuel? <laughs> fondest memory? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to blow his cover? <laughs> please blow his cover. Blow his cover. <laughs> I do blow his cover. Blow it, please. Fondest memory. Oh, we pull a lot of surprises on him. Maybe going to his campus without him knowing we were coming. Mm. And then suddenly he finds uh, he wakes up and finds us at the uh, dormitory or the campus, things mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but I think so far God has been merciful. It's been a, an uneventful journey, mm. uh, not too many challenges. Amen. Uh, he's, he's also paid heed and listened to the counsel we've given him. Amen. And that has helped him to come this far. God has been gracious. God has been good. So, Thank you so thank you so much, Bishop. Please, if you don't mind just saying a word of prayer for us, we would, we would appreciate it. Sir. Okay, okay. Let me pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to share fellowship and to share a testimony that may encourage others mm. along the way. The Bible says, Kadiba Hautak. As Paul wrote to Timothy mm. that the same on friend faith. Mm which is in you, mm. was in your mother mm. and your grandmother, yeah. Lois and Eunice, mm. that it was a transgenerational faith mm. across three generations. Mm. Father, we pray that by this program, yes. there will be a certain transgenerational influence, Amen. transcending the fathers, the apostles, now mm. to their children, and to Kwame, and to you and your generation yes. after you, yes. our grandchildren, yes. that the story of Timothy, yes. Lloyd, yes. and the mother Eunice and others, yes. the same shall be made known Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak blessing over this program yes. that the influence will be massive. Amen. Many people will be touched, Amen. will learn lessons, Amen. that the pastor's kids are not just are not always a problem as it is perceived. Mm. That a new generation of children are coming Amen. who are taking on to what their fathers have done Amen. and building a new foundation Amen. for a greater future. Amen. I bless one, yes. bless everyone that is hearing, and I declare that a new dawn is here. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so thank much, you Bishop. So much, thank you. God bless you. I appreciate you. Hey, thank you, sir. Amen. We do. Amen. Give my regards to that. I'll tell him, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> so, so <laughs> that was a, a surprise call. <laughs> I, yes, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting wow, that. Wow, wow. It's a blessing. Tell your dad is a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah, it's, a blessing. It's, it's, it's a big blessing. Uh, so, so now, so after it, how many years did you do in law school? You did so all together from Exeter. So four. I'm guessing four years in Exeter. Yes. And then you one did one year post grad. Okay. Um. Then I went to New York, so that's about a year. Okay. For the New York bar. Then I came to Makola for two. So mm. I'm looking at four, five, eight. Eight years. Two, wow. two degrees, wow. two wow. jurisdictions. Wow. Yeah. So you can practice in Ghana and practice in New York. In New York. Yes. So why did you choose Ghana? Home, home, and um. I had that. It was time I came home. Mm. It was time I came home. Mm. Um. In our profession. You, you come and put your hands to the till. Okay. You come and work okay. and do what you have to do. Okay. Build your own future. So that, okay. that was my, that was no compulsion, no, okay. no pressure, nothing okay. at all to be able to do that. So okay. that's why. Excellent. And, and now you're married. So you got married a few years ago. I got married in, um, to, you know, sometimes I'm, you forget. I forget. I hope day. your wife is not watching. I'm sure she is. <laughs> um, so I forget the date, but I've been married two and a half years. Okay. Um, so I believe it's January 2019. Okay. Um, January 5th and 12th. Okay. Oh, God, that was a close one. <laughs> <laughs> but January 5th and 12th, 2019. Mm -hmm. um, 
It's been a fantastic journey. And how many children do you have? We have one. one. We have a little okay. um, a little girl. But you have plans of having more? We are believing God. Okay. We're so you don't want your daughter to be an only child? No, I don't. Okay. I, 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 my <coughs> wedding day, Bishop Oboda, I asked me, I said I wanted seven. Hey! Um, so if, so if when you, yeah, um, so seven, um, get a little minivan and then pack everybody <laughs> inside. But... um. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's wow. two and a half years. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, um, this is just part one. I'm hoping that we can have Imano uh, here again for us to continue our discussion. Imano, right? Yes, definitely. It's okay, so, but we want to open the phone lines now so that you can get interactive with us. You can ask Imano questions. Uh, so, uh, if you also have comments, maybe you don't want to speak on the phone, you can send us your message, send to our WhatsApp line the number is 0203438710, 0203438710. And so send your messages right now. Send your messages if you have questions, if you're appreciating the discussion we're having, if you need clarity on something, uh, send it to us right now. Don't forget we are live on Facebook and we're live also on Precious TV. And so um, now I'm going to open the phone lines. Okay, I'm going to open the phone lines and then we would hear... Uh, would hear from you. So the number to call is 0207-10001. 0207-10001. So as, uh, as I take, <laughs> as I take your, your, as I take the phone calls, I'm going to read some of the uh, questions, some of the comments that have come. But don't forget the number to call is 0207-10001. Somebody says, great program. God bless and preserve you, reverend. Bishop James is an accomplished man of God. Does his, do his accomplishments put you under pressure to perform or intimidate you in any way? We have our first call on the line. Okay. Uh, Imano. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Your, your name and where you're calling from, please. Good evening. Yes. Good evening, my brother. Your name and where you're calling from. Okay. So... Uh, guys, please make sure you sort this thing out uh, quickly. So, Manuel, mm -hmm. um, pressure to perform? Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Um, I think so. Naturally, if um, you have a parent who's excelled at anything, mm. um, a certain level of excellence is expected. Mm. Um, if It's worse if you're in the same field. Mm. Naturally, the, the bath. I'm not in ministry, mm. um, but not, people know him. They know he's a diligent man. Mm. He's a man that is, takes his time. Okay. He's very, very patient. One thing you will learn about my father is he's sometimes brutally patient. Mm. Um, I've, never seen, I've never seen him angry. Never so sometimes there's pressure. There is pressure. Okay, excellent. So let's pick our next caller. Hello, good evening. Uh, good evening. Yeah, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah. Yes, your name and... Shira. Your name is... I'm Favor from Tamale. Okay, Favor from Tamale. Talk to us. Favor? Yes, Favor, talk. Talk to us. I, I, don't, I don't know um, the program you are, um, you are discussing on. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, please, <laughs> when you call, turn off the volume of your TV set and speak to us through your phone. Again, the number is 0207-10001. I'm here with uh, Emmanuel Sa, the son of Bishop James Sa. He's a lawyer um, who, can, who, who can practice in both Ghana and New York. All right, we have our next caller on the line. Hello, good evening. Hello. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. Jemima from Achimota. Okay, Jemima, talk to us. So, um... Okay, so we've been watching your program today, and I just want to say my siblings and I are really tired. And we appreciate Bishop, Bishop Sam for coming to your school again. Yeah. yeah. He's done well. He's done well. So tell him to come again. Eh? <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Jemima. God bless you. So let's pick our next caller. Okay. Let's pick our next caller. The number to call is 0207 Hello, good evening. Hello? Okay. So this person says, this is Frank from Achimota. I'm really enjoying this interview. Real experiences there, Mr. Emmanuel. Sir, God bless you all. We have our next caller on the line. Hello, good evening. 
So please, when you call, turn off the volume of your TV and speak through your phone. Um, All right. Okay, hello, good evening. Yes, your name and where you're calling from. Um, my name is what? I think today the, the network is messing Yes, it seems as though. Okay. Uh, so somebody, this is Kingsley from Matayeko who says, Bishop James Sa is great and he's a respected man of God. I really love and revere him. Kudos. Uh, Gifty from Adenta says, God bless you, Reverend Francis, for this program. I'm not a pastor's kid, but I'm blessed anytime I tune in. Keep up with the good work. Regards to your guest. We have our next call on the line. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. Please, I'm calling from the coup. My name is Reverend from Paul. Okay, Reverend, talk to us. Yeah. Uh, first of all, good evening. Good yes. evening, Reverend Francis. Yes. And then our guest. Good evening, sir. Like I said, I'm a young Reverend. Okay. And I'm watching the show with my kids. Okay. And we are very excited. <laughs> so because it really, it really blessed us Amen. tonight. Amen. That's why the Bishop was talking. Mm. And my wife was with me and she was very, very happy too. Amen. So we say that may God bless you. Amen. If one with such a good program for us. Amen. Amen. So that it will motivate our kids for them to understand that <laughs> being a pastor's kid is not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah. We are very happy. Thank God bless you. Sir. Amen. Amen. Thank, Amen. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. So let's pick our next caller. Um, this person says, okay, interesting and candid conversation here. God bless you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Sarah. Emmanuel Sa and Reverend Francis. Okay. All right. My name is Araba. All right. So, hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Okay. Talk to us. No problem. So, Amen. Sometimes we look at something and we are very quiet. Amen. 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 of God. We look upon to Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank, amen. You. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So we'll pick our last caller. Thank you very much. We'll pick our last caller. Hello, good evening. Okay, so this person says, Good evening, I'm Gloria watching from Akimoda. God bless you so much. I'm praying one day my kids would be like you. So I'm guessing, I guess they're talking about you. They're talking about us. <laughs> <laughs> All so right, hello, good evening. Our last caller. Good evening, your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, please turn off the volume of your TV set and talk through your phone. Good evening. Yes, please turn off the volume of your TV and talk through your phone. All right, I'm Aaron from Ben Prudu. All right, Aaron. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Aaron from the New Spectator region of this region, Ben Prudu. Okay, go ahead, Aaron. Yeah, I, I really thank God that God richly has known that day. Amen. Um, and I pray that. God will bless my children like a uh, bishop, and I'm, I'm really excited. Amen. Amen. For hearing that is right. God bless you. Amen. 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 God yeah. bless you. All right. Thank you. So we are. Um, closing the line so you can't call us again but thank you so much for joining us uh i'm with Emmanuel sa and this is one-on-one -on -one with the pastor's kid um, you can keep sending your comments and uh, perhaps you can forward some of them to him as well but i want to encourage you we're having the pastor's kids conference on the 23rd of october and that is a saturday two Saturdays from now. The main speaker is Bishop Charles Ajanasari, and he's going to um, release the Father's blessing over us. And so if you're a pastor's kid, you want to come, a uh, child of uh, a church leader, apostle, pastor, prophet, evangelist, elder, deacon, whatever, please make your way to the Perez Dome Jolu Junction on the 23rd of October. Emmanuel is going to be there. Other pastor's kids are going to be there as well. And so you don't want to miss out on this. Also, um, I want to invite you to support the Pastors Kids Conference, and so you can send us a gift, a financial gift, if possible. All right, any no amount is too uh, no amount is too great, no amount is too small. If you want to 
support this initiative, you can send to our mobile money line. The number is 55 6 8632 again 055-006-8632 we have people who are uh, trying small small to send us their uh, contribution as well so you're invited to do that thank you so much my name is reverend francis ajinasari i was here with emmanuel sa lawyer emmanuel sa <laughs> and uh, god willing we'll see you on wednesday with a different pastor's kid god bless you and have a wonderful night bye-bye